Hello everyone, I am Risha and this is For the Love of Classics. Welcome back to another reading vlog. Today is Eid al-Azha, so Eid Mubarak to everyone who is celebrating. Since you will probably be watching this video in the future, it's not going to be Eid anymore. But I would still like to wish anyone who is celebrating Eid al-Azha. Since we are still being cautious, we did not do much on Eid. I visited my cousin and we just sat and chatted over a cup of tea. Since the month of July is almost over, I think it's time for a Jane Austen July wrap up. The first challenge was to read one of Jane Austen's six novels. And for this, I chose Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I am still reading it. I am left with almost 80 pages and this is a 380 page long book. I am really enjoying the book. I feel like Pride and Prejudice and Persuasion have set the bar so high for me. Those were two of her first books I ever read. I haven't been as happy with the rest of her books. I did enjoy North Anger Abbey, but I did not like Sense and Sensibility a lot. Uh, so I wasn't sure whether I would enjoy Mansfield Park. I'm really enjoying the story of Fanny Price. She's growing as a person throughout the book. I absolutely hate the character of Mrs. Norris and she is a very unlikable character. Jane Austen wants us to not like this character and she's doing a brilliant job. Mrs. Norris is such a toxic character. She says such harsh things to Fanny Price. So I'm absolutely enjoying it and I'm left with just a little bit. So I'm going to finish it soon, maybe tonight. That's the plan. The second challenge for the Jane Austen July 2020 was to read something by Jane Austen that is not one of her main six novels. I really wanted to read something for this challenge and I was looking for a cute copy of some of her works and the one I had in mind I couldn't find. So I didn't finish this challenge. The third challenge was to read a non-fiction work about Jane Austen. Again, I did not read for this challenge. The fourth was to read a retelling of a Jane Austen book didn't do this one again. The fifth challenge was to read a book by a contemporary of Jane Austen. So I read Marriage by Susan Ferrier and I really enjoyed this one. I've already talked about this book in one of my last vlogs so I'm going to link it up here. The sixth challenge was to watch a direct screen adaptation of a Jane Austen book. So I watched Persuasion and I had a really good time watching that film. The last challenge was to watch a modern screen adaptation of a Jane Austen book and for this I watched Lost in Austen. So out of the seven challenges I finished four and I'm really happy with that. I was also reading The Iliad by Homer. I'm having such a crazy time with this book. I am not enjoying this translation at all. And after doing some research, I decided to invest in another translation because I'm really enjoying the story and I wish my edition had more notes and more information about the characters. So I have ordered myself a really pretty copy of the Iliad. I have ordered the Penguin Deluxe Edition with the translation by Robert Fagels. So now I'm waiting for my new edition of the Iliad. I have stopped reading it from this one. So as you guys know, I ordered the Plague almost five months ago from Book Depository. I recently contacted Book Depository and they told me that the book has gone missing for some reason. They told me that the book had been shipped months before but for some reason I never got it. So they refunded me the money and I went on to buy the book from Amazon. After placing the order on Amazon, I got my shipment in two days. And obviously, I wanted to open it with you guys, so let's do that. So this is the book I got. It is The Plague by Albert Camus in the Vintage International Edition. This is a modern classic and it was originally written in French but this is its English translation. I've already started reading it hence all the highlights and tabs. <laughs>
hi guys i thought i would do a quick reading update the last couple of days have been so crazy i made a lot of content for this channel and it got lost because of some problems with my phone but i'm going to try and refilm it so i finished reading mansfield park by jane austen i gave this book a four star rating originally but after a bit of consideration i think this is a 4.5 star i really enjoyed mansfield park I found the story very engaging throughout. I already knew that I would enjoy the writing in a Jane Austen book, but I wasn't sure whether I would like the lead characters. And I did really enjoy the character of Fanny Price. I love how humble and sweet she was throughout the book. I really loved the second half of the book in which she goes back to her home and meets her parents and her siblings. She was well brought up, but her siblings were not. And she tried her best to help them in ways she could. And I really liked that about her. Let me share some of my favorite parts from this because I really enjoyed these chapters. Fanny could not conceal it from herself. In almost every respect, the very reverse of what she could have wished. It was the abode of noise, disorder and impropriety. Nobody was in their right place. Nothing was done as it ought to be. She could not respect her parents as she had hoped. On her father, her confidence had not been sanguine, but he was more negligent of his family. His habits were worse and his manners coarser than she had been prepared for. And the way Jane Austen describes the two households, Fanny's original home and Mansfield Park, the contrast between those two was also very nicely done. For example, at Mansfield, no sounds of contention, no raised voice, no abrupt bursts, no tread of violence was ever heard. All proceeded in a regular course of cheerful orderliness. Everybody had their due importance. Everybody's feelings were consulted. If tenderness could never be supposed wanting, good sense and good breeding supplied its place. And as to the little irritations, sometimes introduced by Aunt Norris, they were short, they were trifling, they were as a drop of water to the ocean, compared with the ceaseless tumult of her present abode. And then Jane Austen goes on to describe Fanny Price's house in Portsmouth. The doors were in constant banging, the stairs were never at rest. Nothing was done without a clatter, nobody sat still, and nobody could command attention when they spoke. I did not like the character of Edmund a lot. I knew that he was friends with Fanny Price, but he totally ignored her throughout the book. He never actually saw her till the very end. And I felt like Jane Austen's other main characters like Mr. Darcy and uh, Captain Wentworth were so much better at being the male leads. But otherwise, I really enjoyed this book. Obviously, the character of Mrs. Norris was intolerable. She was so rude and such an annoying person. Mrs. Norris, the cat in the Harry Potter series, is based off of Mrs. Norris in Mansfield Park. And we can see that both of those characters are very annoying. I did not really like Fanny Price's uncle in the beginning. But when he came back from his business trip, his character redeemed himself. He felt more respectable and honest and understanding. All in all, I really liked this book. There were some really good illustrations as well, and I really enjoyed it. I read the first half of the book from here, and then for the second half, I used an audiobook, which increased my reading speed a lot. I wasn't sure what I would read next, so I asked on my Instagram whether I should start The Butchering Art by Lindsay Fitzharris or the Plague by Albert Camus. Um, sorry for mispronouncing the name of this author previously in one of my videos. Somebody corrected me that I was pronouncing his name wrong, but I checked online how to pronounce his name and it said it is not Albert Camus, but Albert Camus. So I'm going to go with that. So I asked you guys, which of these two books should I read? The majority of people voted for The Plague. I had been waiting for this book for almost five months since coronavirus pandemic started. And my husband was also like, read this book now. You have been waiting for it for months. It is translated from French by Stuart Gilbert. It has such a dark and mysterious beginning already, and I'm really enjoying it. 
I'm on page number 30 and I have already highlighted so many good parts. The paper quality in this edition is not the best because when I highlighted on this side, you got some imprint on its back. And I usually don't like when that happens with my books. I would love to share some of my favorite parts from the plague. Perhaps the easiest way of making a town's acquaintance is to ascertain how the people in it work, how they love and how they die. The truth is that everyone is bored and devotes himself to cultivating habits. Our citizens work hard, but solely with the object of getting rich. Their chief interest is in commerce and their chief aim in life is, as they call it, doing business. For lack of time and thinking, people have to love one another without knowing much about it. And when the plague hits, he's talking about how it is starting. And I found it really relatable. Let me share it from here. A wave of something like panic swept the town. There was a demand for drastic measures. The authorities were accused of slackness and people who had houses on the coast spoke of moving there early in the year though it was. So I think I'm going to find it really, really relatable, especially with what we have been through. Another part I really liked is, I asked what sort of trouble we might expect. That he couldn't say. Disasters always come out of the blue. I already feel like this is going to be a five-star book. I'm really excited to finally start reading it. I also got book mail. I ordered the Iliad from Amazon and I filmed its unboxing, but then the footage got deleted. I need to stop thinking about it. It just makes me so angry. Um, so I was reading the Iliad originally from the Collins Classics edition. This is in the prose form with the translation by Alexander Pope. But when I reached book five, I stopped reading it from here because I felt like I was not enjoying the translation. This edition did not have any notes and it was just so bothersome to Google everything while I was reading it. So I ordered myself a better translation and I'm really, really, really excited about it. I got myself the Iliad in the Robert Fagel's translation. This is in the Penguin Deluxe Edition. First of all, I love the cover. Secondly, it has these beautiful paper edges. It also smells really good. And then the best part would be um, all the details in here. So this deluxe edition by Penguin has an introduction by Bernard, Bernard Knox. Um, this is also in the form of verse. And it comes with an introduction. It also has maps, description of the Homeric names, and the genealogy of the Royal House of Troy, textual variants from Oxford classical texts, and then notes on the translation, which I'm really looking forward to. This is amazing. And then it has notes explaining everything, which would be really helpful for somebody who is not very familiar with the details. And the pronunciation glossary is great. And this is the guy who translated it. So I'm really excited to start reading it from here. I'm not sure whether I will start reading it from book five or I will start it from the beginning. I'll see once I start. If I'm having no problems with book five, I'll continue. But if I feel like I have forgotten bits of it because it has been a week or two since I last read it. So then I will probably start it from the very beginning. But I'm really happy that I have this book finally. 
I also got something else. I wasn't sure whether I want to share it here, whether you guys would be interested in knowing about it, but I thought I would share it anyways because it is for my YouTube channel. So I got a couple of things. These are pre-birthday presents from my husband and I'm really excited about them. I got this. So it's basically a video camera, a mic with tripod and the camera bag. I'm going to try and film videos on the camera from now on. I hope I get the hang of it soon. Um, So I got a camera from Canon. This is EOS M50. And then I got a tripod, a bigger tripod, a mic. What else? A power bank for my phone. But I think I might need extra batteries for the camera as well. And then of course a camera bag. Let's hope that I get the hang of this soon so I can improve the videos on my channel. everyone I thought I would give you guys a quick reading update before I wind up this vlog 
I haven't been up to much recently. I went to a bookshop, but I stood by my book buying ban and did not get myself a copy. Just browsed through the bookshop and found out some amazing books which I will read once I narrow down my current TBR pile. Also did some grocery shopping followed by disinfecting all of it. Am I the only one who is getting tired of disinfecting all grocery because it takes forever to finish doing that? I am reading The Plague by Albert Camus in this vintage classics edition and I'm halfway done through the book. I'm on page 167 and it is almost 300 pages long. I'm absolutely loving the book. This writer is brilliant. He knows the emotions of humans going through an epidemic and the way he is putting down all those thoughts on paper is absolutely brilliant. I have highlighted so many good parts in this book. The My entire copy is filled up with these amazing highlights and maybe that is because we are living through a pandemic and it is so relatable. I originally thought it would be too much to read a book about an epidemic right now but I'm not finding it very difficult because it is going into the more philosophical side of the whole situation. I also started reading The Iliad by Homer by Robert Fagels. 
Originally, I wanted to skip the first five chapters because I had already read them from the Alexander Pope verse translation. I needed some motivation to start reading this again. Once I did, I flied through the first book and I can't wait to start book two, The Great Gathering of Armies. I'm so glad for all the notes and the context which this edition is giving me. Um, the, f the one thing I really loved about book one was how the gods talk to each other. The mortals, Achilles and Agamemnon are being like men fighting over a woman, but the gods are being hilarious. Uh, Zeus, who is the god of thunder, has gone behind the back of his wife, Hera, and uh, made some pact against her wishes. And the way Hera confronts Zeus is so funny. Listen to this. So who of the gods this time, my treacherous one, was hatching plans with you? Always your pleasure whenever my back is turned to settle things in your grand clandestine way. You never deign, do you, freely and frankly, to share your plots with me. Never, not a word. I'm not a good reciter, but this was so funny the way she is talking to Zeus about making plans behind her back. And then Zeus is being so mean to his wife. He says, Hera, stop hoping to phantom all my thoughts. You will find them a trial, though you are my wife. Whatever is right for you to hear, no one, trust me, will know of it before you, neither God nor man. Whatever I choose to plan apart from all the gods, no more of your everlasting questions. Probe and pry no more. And then Zeus calls her maddening one. You and your eternal suspicions. I can never escape you. Ah, but tell me, Hera, just what can you do about all this? Nothing. Only estrange yourself from me a little more and all the worse for you. Now go sit down. Be quiet now. Obey my orders for fear the gods, however many Olympus holds are powerless to protect you when I come to throttle you with my irresistible hands. Wow, Zeus is so violent and I'm loving this. And humor was not something I was expecting when I decided to read the Iliad. I already have such good feelings about these two books. I think they are going to be five stars. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It may be a bit erratic uh, than my usual ones because I lost a lot of footage and editing it was such a headache. But I really hope you guys appreciate it and enjoy it. In the meanwhile, subscribe to my channel and like this video, share some love and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. As you guys know I ordered so as you guys know I ordered so as you guys know I ordered a Albert Camus so in two days hi everyone Whoa.